Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to teach you some tips about exporting frames and even being able to arrange your own YouTube thumbnails all in Premiere. Now, typically, I would suggest that you just do this in Photoshop or some sort of design program if you don't have Photoshop. But if you are working kind of in a quick moment in Premiere, there are little things that you can do that you can just make it in Premiere as well, just as well. So I have a little book club playlist on my channel, which is not the traditional type of thing I do. But when I upload the videos, sometimes straight from my phone, I want to get a good frame. I don't want to get a frame where I'm looking stupid. So what I thought to do was simply take the video in Premiere, find the book cover online. So I have a couple of different options here and I can kind of arrange them in, in Premiere as their own graphic layers. I can move them to where I need just like this or even scale them up and make them big enough to fill in the whole side if I want. And if you want an easy way to just move stuff around, just highlight the selection tool, make sure you're in the program window and highlight that position parameter in the effects control panel. And you can just move it around kind of very similar to Photoshop. You can scale it exactly how you like. And I can put it there in the corner and then I can kind of just scrub through find a good frame, maybe where I'm looking thoughtful or not stupid looking. <laughs> I can even add text if I wanted, like with the type tool, I can write out whatever I want and move those around. And even in the essential graphics panel, adding backgrounds and strokes for these, just a simple way to build text and titles. If you did want, again, something that you might not need to go to Photoshop or if you don't have Photoshop, another tool for you, something like this. I do always like to remember that the timestamp right now is in the corner on YouTube. So maybe not to put too important information there in that corner. And you also have all these different video effects that you can generate. So if I wanted to generate a gradient or a ramp, I can do that as well on perhaps like a new black video. So new black video, add that on a layer in between, maybe add a ramp. And in this way I can add different colored ramps for some style and maybe set this layer to a blending mode like screen or something like that. I'm just giving you an idea of how you can even add different colors and different things that are not necessarily included. Like here I am building this whole thumbnail in Premiere Pro rather than Photoshop. And once you're done to kind of save it, you can just export the frame. So shift plus E or this camera button here, it'll export this frame as a JPEG. You can press, you could send it to your desktop or wherever, press okay. And then you'll find that PNG or JPEG file in your, de in your desktop. And since this sequence, was a sequence size of 1920 by 1080, just taking after the clip. That should work fine for YouTube, but you can even make it smaller. YouTube recommends, I think, 1280 by 720. So if you even wanted to just downsize that PNG later. But I'm just showing you how if you're only working with Premiere Pro, you can still kind of get scrappy and create thumbnails if you want. Or in this case, this workflow just kind of works better because the main thing I want to do is find a part of the video where perhaps I'm not blinking or I look like I'm saying something interesting and throw in that little image of the book cover in the corner and then export the frame. That's kind of something I might as well just do here rather than Photoshop if it's going to be that simple. Now, if I wanted to do other things like remove that scratch from my nose or outline myself and blur the background, more complicated stuff, then I would probably just say go into Photoshop or if you want to just check out my tutorials I've made for making thumbnail tips and basics in Photoshop, I would recommend you do that because 90% of the time I'm making them in Photoshop. But hopefully you enjoyed this little idea and got some tips from it, whether that just be the export frame button or you picked up some other tips as well. If you did enjoy this video, check out my channel for more. Subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.